Hello everybody and I hope all is well. Today we're going to show you how to add a little favicon to your Agenta store. Uh, favicons are great. Everybody has a favicon these days. It's just a great little aesthetic element to add to your site. Um, just to make you a little more uh, hip, friendly. It's not necessary, but you know, I would definitely, just for the pure aesthetics, uh, really good to have one. Uh, if you go to Google, you'll see they have one. Even Amazon has one. As you can see there, everybody's got a favicon these days. Okay. So to get to your Magento store, your Magento stores, uh, log into your Magento store. So just go your domain, and we'll use our domain forward slash admin. Right. Okay. I'm already logged in, so it's going to take me to the dashboard. When you're in the dashboard, make sure you go system and then configuration. Okay, once you get to system and configuration, you want to go to the general tab and you want to go to the sub tab design. So general and then the sub tab design here. Okay. You want to go to HTML, HTML head, and you simply choose the file you want to uh, upload. We'll delete this image so we can do a full demonstration of it. Okay, so we'll go remember general and then design. We're at the design tab. We go to HTML head. We choose a file, and this is the file that I'm going to be using. It's a GIF image. You want to save the configuration. And here it is. What you want to do too is you just want to make sure you flush the cache. Make sure that it shows up. So you can select, flush the cache. Okay, and then you want to log out. Log back in. And go check your work. So you go to your domain. And as you can see, the favicon was rendered. As you, if you looked for a split second, it was going to turn into the globe, but it realized that I made the change. Okay. Now, favicon best practices in Magento. You want to use a GIF image or a PNG image, and you don't want to go over like 250 by I would say like 250. Once you go over that. Is you're working with really, really small dimensions. The smaller, the better. Okay, but once you go over like 250 by 250, your image is gonna look like really squished. Okay, so it's not gonna it's gonna look like pixelated. So you want to make sure that you're with you're below for any favicon. You're below 250 by 250, and you're using something like a GIF or a PNG file. Okay, you don't want to use a JPEG. It's too much. All right. Thank you very much. And if you like this video, subscribe to this channel. You can also follow us at Primus Web, at G-O-P-R-Y Web, okay, at GoPryWeb on Twitter. Thank you.